Hello children, good morning. How are you all? I'm sure you all are fine. So, let's begin this session English for class 11. This is for 9th January. English for class 11. So, let's begin. Questions and answers of which poem? Childhood. And who's the poet you remember children? Yes, Marcus Natton. So, here's the first question. Identify the stanza that talks of each of the following. Individuality, rationalism, hypocrisy. Which stanza? Let's see the answers. Okay, here's the answer. The stanzas that talk about each of the quality in questions are given below. Individuality, it is in third stanza. Rationalism is in the first stanza. And hypocrisy, it is in the second stanza. So, you have to remember this, okay? Now, let's move on to the next question. What according to the poem is involved in the process of growing up? Answer, according to the poem, the loss of childhood is involved in the process of growing up. Yes, throughout the poem, the poet talks about what? Losing his childhood. He is wondering where has his childhood gone. This loss is compensated by some gains which come with adolescence. These are increase in understanding, power of rationalizing and discrimination as well as a sense of individuality and what? Self. Confidence. Yes. Now let's move on to the next question. What are the poet's feelings towards childhood? The poet regards childhood as an important stage in the process of growing up. Childhood is a period of make-believe. Child Children readily accept whatever the elders say. The poet does not feel any regret or sense of loss on losing his childhood. Which do you think are the most poetic lines and why? The following lines in the poem are most poetic. It went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face. That's all I know. These lines beautifully sum up the process of growth and the disappearance of a particular stage of what? Life. These lines have a figurative or metaphorical meaning also. The infant's innocent face hides many things behind its smiles. Perhaps the childhood lies hidden in some forgotten place, lying buried deep inside a child's consciousness. Yes, it is like that. So, some more questions solved. Short answer type questions, word limit is approximately 30 to 40 words. What did the speaker learn about the existence of heaven and hell? After the speaker grew up to be mature, he acquired a reasoning power. He realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography books or atlas since they could not be located anywhere in the world map. He concluded that they did not exist. He would believe only what he could see and find. How did the speaker realize the hypocrisy of the adults? The speaker noticed a wide gulf between what adults appeared to be and what they actually were in real life. There were apparent contradiction between their words and deeds. They talked of love and advised others to love, but they never acted lovingly. That means they did not practice whatever they preached. And there's a famous saying also, you know, children, practice what you preach. Whatever you say, you must practice that. You must yourself do that. Otherwise, you cannot tell others to do. How did the realization of being the master of his own mind help him? The realization that he was the master of his own mind and could use 
it in any way he liked filled him with self confidence he could not think sorry he could now think independently and need not repeat parrot like thoughts of others long answer type questions the first one children childhood is an essential state in the process of growing up but it can't go on forever yes one has to move on to the next stage of life childhood cannot remain in any one forever one has to grow into an adult then grow old and all these things happen this is the way of life something that is bound to happen discuss here's the answer childhood is an important stage in the process of growing up of every person the human infant is totally dependent on others yes and very true small children are absolutely dependent on others for everything they are dependent but during childhood he gains physical emotional and mental strength as the tiny baby grows bigger in size other faculties also develop what other faculties de- develop means what he starts thinking on his own yes he starts taking his own decisions so important changes happen in the individual this stage is an important landmark in man's growth but it can't go on forever can it no it can't go on for ever childhood being a stage must give way to another stage it is followed by adolescence or early youth now all the faculties are fully developed the person acquires reasoning power his rationalism helps him to decide truth or falsehood fact and fiction he acquires a fine capability of analysis and discrimination now he can see through persons and things he can see through yes he begins to understand the hypocrisy of adults he gains confidence and becomes an independent thinker i already said that to you he is able to think on his own his decision, decisions are not influenced by others what question does the poet ask again and again in the poem in this poem the poet is really he asks the question again and again when did my childhood go actually here you know children the poet is wondering when did my childhood that is when did i lose my childhood he did not come to know but afterwards he does realize when he lost his childhood the poet has actually it is not losing it is a phenomena which happens to all one and all the poet has discussed two stages of life childhood and adulthood how do we differentiate one from another childhood has been considered by the poet as a blissful period in one's life where a child trusts everyone adulthood is marked by rational and creative thoughts ability to perceive and differentiate and learn new things in this stage of life one also learns to be double faced and crafty crafty very clever cunning you know you some people they fool others tell lies and all these things you know okay next question what did the poet realize when he crossed the age of 11 years when the poet crossed the age of 11 years he realized that he had lost his childhood and had developed a mind of his own he also found out the non existence of hell and heaven even uh, there is no description of hell and heaven in geography yes it's no way to be found on the map also how did the poet conclude that hell and heaven were imaginary places the poet concluded that hell and heaven were imaginary places because geography books contain names of places there so many other things but there's no mention of places like what hell and heaven hell or heaven in these books okay 
Next question. How did adults seem to the poet when he was a child? As a poet, sorry, as a child, the poet considered all the adults as an epitome of love and sincerity. Because children are innocent, so he also was innocent. He thought that all the adults are so full of love, they are so sincere. He believed that their love was true and they were ready to do anything for their loved ones. But it's only afterwards when he became an adult, he realized that this was not at all true. Question number six. Bring out the hypocrisy that the adults exhibit with regard to what? Love. Okay, here's the answer. As the poet grew up, he could make out the double standards followed by adults. He realized that though adults preached of love and talked of love, their behavior was totally different and full of manipulation. They were all hypocrites who behaved differently from the way they talked. I told that to you already. That is what they did not practice whatever they preached. What did the poet notice about independent thinking? How important was this discovery? Okay, now let's look at the answer. Here is the answer children. The poet discovered that he was different from others and could think independently. He could have his own opinions without getting influenced by anyone else. Why? Because he stepped into adulthood. Now he is no more a child. He has become an adult. This discovery and that is when he realizes, that is when he understands how the world is. When he was a child, he did not know about the pretense. He did not know that the adults, whatever they preached, they did not practice. This discovery was very important to him as it revealed to him his abilities for independent thinking and very important that is decision making. The next question, <clears throat> what is the poet trying to convey when he says that Childhood is hidden in an infant's face. The poet says an infant is really innocent as he trusts everyone and does not try to fool others. The poet brings out this fact by contrasting it with the behavior of adults who become manipulative and are hypocrites. As a person develops rational thoughts, his childlike innocence fades away, gradually fades away. Very true. According to Marcus Natton, when does the child become an adult? Becoming an adult is a complex process which is associated with physical, mental and social development. A child becomes an adult when he is able to live his own life and take care of his responsibilities individually. That means he is no more dependent on anyone for anything. Yes, he also develops his own thought process using which he can form his own beliefs and opinions. What is the poet's feeling towards his childhood? The poet regards childhood as a period of innocence. A child sincerely feels that he is free from all evils and that there is really a hell and a heaven. A child knows no hypocrisy. There is no difference between his thoughts and actions. In short, childhood is a state of innocence and purity of heart. Now we move on to the next question. How does the poem expose man and present him in true colors? According to the poet, childhood symbolizes innocence purity, softness and love. See, all children are so innocent, so pure at heart, so soft-spoken and full of love. This is applicable to one and all, all children. And what happens as a child grows up? These qualities start receding, becoming lesser and lesser. Man adheres to lying, shrewdness, cunningness and hypocrisy. What happens? Gradually these qualities develop. 
Adults preach about truth and honesty but themselves practice hatred and lying. The simplicity. See, small children, they don't lie children. You know that cadets, they will never lie. They are so simple at heart, so honest. Generally, this happens when one is in adulthood. The simplicity and honesty of childhood evaporates the moment man crosses the threshold of innocent childhood. Becomes very clever. Once he steps into adulthood, becomes very clever, very cunning. Yes. Okay. Long answer time. Write an article in about 150 words about childhood and the process of growing up. It's a good question. You can take all your ideas from which poem? Childhood. See, heading childhood by who's, who's writing this article here? Manav Singh. If you are writing, you have to write your name. Then you begin it. When I was a child, the world seemed to be a place of joy and happiness. Children, don't tell me article writing was not taught. In your other lower classes also it was taught. So this is article writing. In case you have forgotten, have a look at it. There was nothing worth worrying about. Whenever I cried, somebody consoled me. See, always there was somebody to console. Yes. When I did not like to sit alone, I was always in somebody's arms. Always there was someone to comfort you, to say soothing words. Yes, mother, father, family members, friends, so many people around you. So childhood is such a stage, a wonderful one. My mother always looked after me. These are my most cherished memories and I believe that looking at a child, playing and enjoying childhood makes me somewhat Nostalgic. Nostalgic, then you remember, yes, once upon a time, I was also like that small boy, like that small child, you know. I also used to do the same thing. My mother used to love me. My friends used to love me. I used to roam around, play. I used to enjoy all the freedom of childhood. So that is nostalgia, becoming nostalgic. Childhood is free from cares. See, small children, they do not know what is worry? What is tension? What is stress? They are free from all these things. There are no duties or responsibilities on the shoulders of a child. A child only eats, drinks, sleeps and plays. And if he's a little grown up, like say he's in LKG, UKG for standard, he has to study. Yes, thus a child lives in the bliss of ignorance and innocence. As we grow up in age, Worries about studies and so many other types of worries come in. Choice of profession, shouldering responsibilities, etc. Keep haunting us. Tension, stress, worries become a part of adult life. And the individual becomes actually a burden with all the worries. The individual forgets to live a carefree life. Because he has got so many responsibilities on his shoulder. That is the reason his life becomes... A little stressful, worry comes in and so many other such things come into his life. Is independent thinking a step towards adulthood? If yes, then how? Explain with reference to the poem Childhood. Or Marcus Natton, those showing disapproval regarding the behavior of adults also raises a very important point that... Of independent thinking and what? Individuality. Yes, throughout this is stressed. Do you agree that independent thinking and individuality make us what we are? Elaborate in the context of the poem, childhood. That means you have to explain here. You have to take your clues from the poem. Of course, independent thinking is a step towards adulthood. As a child, one is not able to make one's own decisions and one's thinking is always influenced and directed by adults. A child, a child is so innocent that it is not able to distinguish between truth and imagination. As a child's thinking is influenced by others, it has no individuality. Moreover, it is prone to manipulations which lead to fickle-mindedness. You are not able to decide. Yeah, that, that is what is fickle mindedness. Independent thinking makes us what we are. It shapes our personality. 
and we are known among people through what our mind thinks and what decisions we take. If we want to stay away from evil people who try to influence or uh, sorry our thoughts for their selfish purposes, the only independent thinking then only what can help us independent think, thinking. You should be you should be able to decide. Whatever the other person is telling is right. Should I do that? Should I listen to that person? So your thinking is will be your own thinking. You should be able to decide. We cannot claim to be an individual if we cannot be, cannot take decisions ourselves. Okay, children. So these questions are very important from the poem Childhood. Read the summary. All that has been done and write down all the Things that have been done in this session, the questions, answers, article, everything. Okay? Now, I'll give you an assignment. Okay? You write an article on or you can write an essay also. This is just to check your thoughts and ideas. Write an article on which is the best stage of life, childhood or adulthood. So, that's your assignment. Thank you. Goodbye.